A very good evening everyone and welcome to Bible and Prayer for this Friday. It's good to be together again. Uh, thanks for joining us. Now, uh, don't forget that tomorrow, Saturday, the church building will be open once again from 10 until 12 noon. Uh, so if you'd like to come along for some time of individual prayer, uh, to sit, to think and to pray, uh, that will be uh, open tomorrow. Please do join us there. And then uh, Sunday, of course, is coming along the track. We'll be meeting at 10 o'clock in the morning for our Sunday live stream service. Uh, please do join us there on Facebook or on YouTube or via the Zoom group. And then on Sunday afternoon at four o'clock, we've got the next part of our fresh series, the Tea Time Church. Again, you'll be most welcome to join us. You'll find that one on Facebook and YouTube. So please do uh, make a point of uh, coming along to one of those things over the weekend. It'd be lovely to gather as a people as we do that. So for tonight, we are in chapter five of James. Let me read for us as we begin. James writes, Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their cor corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in these last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. Well, we finished yesterday with James reminding the wealthy Christians not to presume upon the Lord, rather to maintain an attitude of humility, remembering that Jesus is God's appointed king and we are his appointed subjects and to always get those things around the right way. Well, tonight James turns his attention to those outside of the church, especially the rich who have been making their money at the expense of the poor, some of whom would have been the Christians in the churches that James was writing to. And his message is a sobering one for those rich people. He talks about the dangers of wealth and where uh, that will lead in much the same way that Jesus talked, that you cannot love both God and money. And where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Well, here are people who it appears are in love with money. It's corrupted them in the present and will lead to misery and destruction in the end, which is why James warns them in such stark terms. Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Here are people who are rich at the expense of others because they've failed to pay people a fair wage and so have caused suffering and hardship in their own workforce. And yet the cries of those suffering workers have been heard by the Lord, who won't let these things go ignored or unpunished. Again, let me read from verse 4. Look, says James, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. And what a contrast there is there between the lowly farmhands and the rich landowner, one living in luxury and self-indulgence, the other living in poverty and misery. And what a comfort that the Lord is looking out for those poor and needy, that he hears their cries and will act against those who would do them harm. And like the rich man in Luke 12, he will be found to be a fool who stores up for himself riches but is not rich towards God. I hope that we would learn these lessons from James from our Lord to store up our own treasure in heaven and not be tempted to love those things which will only do us harm in the end. Above all that we might treasure Christ and find all our riches in him. 
Well, let me pray for us this night uh, that we would use our money wisely and store up our treasure in heaven. Loving Father, we thank you for this part of your word. Thank you for James and uh, for the abrupt way he speaks to those rich outside of your kingdom. Uh, Lord, pray that we would be those who would use money rightly, that we wouldn't uh, store up our treasure here on earth, but would store up our treasure in heaven. Above all, would you help us treasure Christ above all things, that we might love him more than anything else this world has to offer. And so we pray that you would help us uh, be those who would follow Jesus rightly uh, and have those things in the right order. And we pray ahead for our weekend. Thank you for the opportunity of uh, tomorrow, for the church being open, and for Sunday of meeting as your people in the morning and for fresh. Pray that each of those times would be times where we can draw close to you. And as we do so, would you draw close to us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks very much for joining me tonight. Look forward to seeing you all over the weekend. And uh, until then, bye-bye for now. <laughs>